Hi, my name is Alex. I'm going to talk about the effects of UV radiation on food, photosynthetic and photoproductive components, and reproduction of the credential water total bright photo. First, I want to introduce what is coral. Coral is marine invertebrate. If you take a coral tissue on a microscope, you can see many tiny tiny animal called polyps. And polyps can secrete the calcium carbonate from a hot skeleton. And, and there are some uh, single cell symbiotic algae that live with coral. And symbiotic algae can provide uh, 90 energy and nutrition to coral and exchange the coral uh, provide protection, habitat, carbon, and carbon dioxide to symbiotic algae. And Bryophagata is our main, main species. Bryophagata is the majority of coral species of the Caribbean Sea and Atlantic Ocean. That's why we choose bright God as our end species. Coral is sensitive and vulnerable and that any impact and stress can cause great damage to coral. And coral is, is uh, in, influenced by many factors. For example, climate change, salinity, and acid, uh, uh, ocean acidification, and temperature, UV radiation. And UV radiation are our main factor. Uh, I will tell you how coral are affected by UV radiation. And, we, and UV radiation also called UVR. Next, I want to introduce what is MNAS. Uh, MNA is, is, is uh, animal acid. Uh, it's animal it's animal as human found in marine organism. Uh, MNS can observe harmful UVR to protect coral from causing damage. Yeah. And we only uh, uh, there are some dirty MN has been identified. We only we only take these five components to conduct our experiment. And what is photosynthetic pigment? For example, a chlorophyll A, a chlorophyll B, and carotenoid, and so on. Uh, photosynthetic pigments uh, have the light harvesting system, like photosystem 1 and photosystem 2, to collect the solar energy from irradiation. Uh, why did I do this research? First, uh, during the last few decades, the effect, the effect of UPR on uh, rebuilding coral has been received widespread attention in the Pacific. Second, the data, there is a few studies about effect of creeping coral under UVR. This is our end. First, growth. Second, MAA and photosynthetic. The third and last one is fecundity. You might wonder what is fecundity? The fecundity is the ability to produce their sperm egg and lava. Method. Uh, we conduct our experiment uh, during the March and July in 2003. Uh, our locate is at uh, 3 km outside the sea in the Caribbean shore water of the Puerto Rico. Locate depth is 0 0.5 meter. Uh, in our experiment we have uh, 27 coral and 9 aquarium and 3 treatment. So in one treatment, we have 9 coral to aquarium. Uh, we establish three different, uh, three different treatment. First, control. We just, uh, we just put the aquarium outside. So that means to just the sun irradiation. Uh, the second, in red, in has UVR, we put the aquarium under UV lamp. So he can object in has UVR. The third, last one is hydraulic panel. We put the aquarium under hydraulic panel, which can reduce UV radiation about 99%. Uh, let coral uh, subject reduce UVR. Yeah. Results. 
and look at this figure. The x axis is 3D burn treatment. The y axis is linear extension rate and scandal density. And you can see under under in hands you are the linear extension rate and scalar density are lower than other two treatment. Uh, and you can see uh, under hydraulic panel, the linear extension rate and scale density are higher than other two children. And look at this figure, the x axis is synchrony jet. The y axis is uh, the total MAS in treatment, in concentration. And the black bar is enhanced UVR. The gray bar is hydraulic panel. The white bar is control. And you can see other other enhanced UVR. The total MAA concentration increased during the experiment. And at the same way, the x axis is simply in that the y axis is the uh, individual MAA in concentration. And you can see the microscoping is here, is this figure. It's the highest value concentration during the experiment. And look at this figure. The x axis is simply in that the y axis is the uh, total photosynthetic pigment in concentration. Uh, the square is controlled. The triangle is tidal panel. The circle is enhanced UVR. And you can see under enhanced UVR, uh, the photo, the total thing, uh, photo, thing, uh, synthetic, photosynthetic pigment are lower, lower than control. Yeah. And look at this two figure. The x axis is three different conditions. The colony with egg, the colony with spermaris, the colony with larva. The y axis is a uh, present percentage. And, and you can see under high, under enhanced UVR, uh, the now of arrived quota contains egg and larva in the end of the experiment. And these are our results. First, uh, under enhanced you are the linear essential rate and scale density uh, are lower than other two children because uh, they cost a lot of energy and produce la large quantity of MAH block UVR, which is meaning there is less energy to uh, provide coral growing. Second, under enhanced UVR, the total MAH concentration increased during the experiment because MA can observe a uh, harmful UVR to protect both coral and symbiotic algae. So MA serves uh, act as a UV filter and antioxidant to protect coral. So they need uh, they need to produce more MA to help them survive in the stressful period. Third, under enhanced UVA the total photosynthetic pigment are lower than control because in the reduction in uh, the reduction in photosynthetic pigment uh, is a, a suggests a defensive mechanism to per, to reduce damage to light harvesting system uh, like photosystem two over photosystem one. Uh, the le the last one is. Uh, for enhanced you will now correct how to contact egg and lava in the end of the experiment because coral can observe their reproductive uh, material like egg and sperm to fill the stressful period. Uh, unlike other species, the correct powder didn't completely completely lose their sperm in the end of the experiment. So it proved that the bright quota has more more resistant to enhanced UVR. And thank you for listening. Nine minutes twenty seconds.
Specific about the graphic before the result. It's about the um, yellow and the uh, blue bar. The community. Slides were easy to follow, so it's a rich image and 
the sentence were mostly short, but some of them were still a bit wordy. Uh, and the most noteworthy part of his talk was uh, his stage performance was actually quite nice. So he was really talking to the audience, not talking to the screen. And, uh, but I have to correct that, uh, do not say introduct. There's no such word. Uh, it's introduced. Oh, introduced. Mm -hmm. okay. And, uh, uh, but like uh, uh, one of the uh, audience pointed out, the top speed could be slowed down a bit. Okay. Then you can easily make 10 minutes. And, uh, here, for example, uh, like uh, in these slides and also these slides, you show you show the slides, then uh, you set you show the slide, then you say something about photosynthetic pigments and by to say. Uh, uh, I don't think this is right. You should have learned that. Uh, chlorophyll A, chlorophyll B, the abbreviation is not CAL. It's CHL. And, uh, and uh, you say something about the, uh, the pigments or the MAA. And I also need to correct that. I, I, I think I heard animal acids. It's weird. It's amino acids. Not any more acid. That sounds strange. And um, you say something about MAA, then you should print some keywords about its function. Because uh, when you only say things, it's more difficult usually for uh, for people who are not uh, who doesn't have English as the mother language to comprehend your meaning. So it's better to print some keywords. And then uh, he has a very clear purpose statement, and uh, then uh, I ha I have to say when you about the uh, about this slides, I, I think uh, you introduced the figure very well. But when I was standing there trying to look at your slides, this is really small. I can't read this clearly. So if you can make some artwork, like you print the words again yourself, or you enlarge the figure like the next one, I can see it. Then it will be easier for people sitting there to read the slides. And uh, so the, the font should be larger. And this one is a self-made figure. Yeah. There's no such figure in the paper, so he made this himself, which is nice. But again, the font is extremely slow, so I, and it's the, yeah, I can't read it. I don't know if people there can read it. So you have to make the font larger, larger. Okay. And uh, then regarding the discussion, I think this is quite nice. Uh, although you did not uh, like uh, put the data next to the discussion, but I think this, like a recollection of your result, is okay. And so you link your results to uh, interpretation. And this is this flow of logic is nice. And uh, and given that you don't make ten minutes, I would say it's, it would be good to give a conclusion slide to repeat what you have said shortly, and as a or like a technical message. And lastly, uh, I think uh, uh, this is a typo. And uh, I, how, how do you read this? I don't think this read fecundity. I think this read fecundity. So I, we can check on, on the internet. So I, I, I doubt if this read fecundity. OK. This should be fecundity. OK. So overall, I think it's a good talk, and there's some small things for you to improve. Okay, so let's thank Alex.